The hirsutism started when I was around 15 with puberty. Um, full facial hair in terms of like a beard for a man and a moustache and then uh, chest hair around my nipples and then down on my, my stomach line, just like a man. I felt that I really had to cover it up all the time to be like everyone else and pretend that I was the same but not. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I was really self-conscious and shy about it. Hello there, I'm Dr John Eden, Associate Professor of Reproductive Endocrinology at the University of New South Wales. I study women's hormones. I've met literally thousands of women with excess body hair, otherwise known as hirsutism. This can be a devastating condition, but the really good news is it's very treatable. Just over 90% of women with excess body hair have a hormone condition called polycystic ovary syndrome. Other symptoms may include acne, irregular periods, fertility problems, weight gain and scalp hair loss. Polycystic ovary syndrome is usually confirmed using a simple blood test and sometimes an ultrasound scan. As many as one in eight women have hirsutism. It may not be life-threatening, but it has a huge effect on the lives of many women. Most just put up with it, not aware that there are many simple, effective medical treatments available. It was really empowering once I knew my options and the different things I could do and what was good for me and what's bad for me. Um, so then I could choose with full knowledge um, of what was the right way to go about my treatment plan. I know lots of women who, who do struggle with that and I think it, it's a really hard thing to deal with and um, I really feel for them but at the same time I mean it's, it's not insurmountable either, I mean there's, th there's things you can do and technology these days is fantastic. Most women deal with the problem by physically removing their hair using waxes or creams, although laser and electrolysis are also effective ways of dealing with the problem externally. The most effective way of dealing with hirsutism is to treat it externally and internally. Medical options for hirsutism include contraceptive pills as well as tablets that block the effect of male hormone. We also have a cream that directly inhibits hair growth. After just 12 months of this kind of treatment, more than 90% of the women show a significant reduction in their hirsutism. Women with polycystic ovary syndrome mildly overproduce male hormone, but only half of the women develop excess body hair. Those with hirsutism have skin that is genetically more sensitive to testosterone. It's important to note that you can't be female without making some male hormone. In fact, women make testosterone first and then convert it into oestrogen. I've met many women with hirsutism who genuinely thought they were turning into a man. Nothing could be further from the truth. It's not something that you have to suffer from your whole life because it, it really can be dealt with is really treatable. You don't need to spend hundreds of dollars going to the beautician every week. You can definitely um, get, that, get that managed quite quickly through medication and different treatments. If you recognise the symptoms in yourself um, in terms of the hirsutism, um, not able to lose weight as easily as other people, but you find it's just increasing, I'd say to them, keep going to doctor. Use the doctor just like you would as a paying customer these are symptoms I have and find a doctor that listens to you. Hirsutism is common and women hate it. Combining cosmetic and medical options is an effective way of managing the problem so that you can get on with your life.